purpose of this video is to show engineering personnel an overview of the importance of the main reduction gear assembly and the basic procedures for conducting an assessment using applicable documentation. While the video is based on the maintenance requirement card for an annual inspection on a DDG, the basic process is applicable to any main reduction gear. Be sure to follow the references that apply to your particular ship class. This video was filmed in a controlled test site and not aboard ship. Plexiglass was inserted over the access in lieu of goggles for filming clarity and there was no background noise to require hearing protection. Aboard ship, always use the applicable and required personal protective gear. Here, a serve chief engineer explains the importance of this check and some basic guidelines. The main reduction gear, in its simplest terms, is a transmission. Right? It converts the high-speed, low-torque output of the gas turbines or, or of, the, of the prime mover uh, into a low-speed, high-torque output to turn the shaft of the ship. Um, and it allows us to do some of the maintenance items required, uh, such as clutching, clutching in and out uh, the transmission to, to rotate the MRG, to rotate the gearing uh, without actually turning the shaft. Okay, the main reduction gear is, is a case of gears and because of that, because it's metal on metal, the lube oil system is absolutely critical to the operation of, of the MRG. Uh, and like everything we do, uh, constant, regular, and preventative maintenance on that lube oil system is, is critical to ensure proper operation. So there are several, there are several required, um, required PMS procedures for the MRG, one of them being the uh, verifying the spray pattern. It is possible uh, that the continuous operation of the lube oil system can actually draw in contaminants even from outside the MRG, from the lube oil system itself. Certainly we've seen muslin bags that have gotten sucked into uh, to the purifier, sucked into the, through the lube oil filters. We've seen those, uh, that external contaminants cause uh, blockages in, those, in the lube oil nozzles. And when that happens, you're not getting the complete coverage that you need inside uh, to, to, to thoroughly cover the, the gearing inside the MRG. When we've, we've seen the consequences of MRG failures across the fleet uh, in the past even year uh, with, with, with several ships uh, due to bad oil, uh, failed oil samples, or incorrect PMS on both the dehumidifier as well as the normal operation of the lube oil system. Um, and what that does is not only is it an extremely, extremely expensive piece of equipment, but it cause, causes delays in their maintenance schedule, which of course causes delays and, and severe impacts into our, the Navy's operational schedule. So as an assessor, my advice to any chief engineer, especially those who are coming into their first chief engineer tour, coming into their first command, um, the, the M, an open MRG inspection is, is part of the, part of the recommended, part of the recommended uh, chief engineer turnover item. Uh, so after completing the, the SWAS, Prospective Engineering Officer course, up in Rhode Island. I felt comfortable coming to my first ship as a chief engineer. I felt comfortable doing that, and I did that as part of my, as part of my turnover. As noted in the Naval Ship's Technical Manual and the Maintenance Requirement Card, it is vital to ensure that no foreign objects can enter the main reduction gear while the casing is open. To this end, all loose articles, including jewelry, must be removed, all connectors such as buttons or snaps taped over, and pockets empty. Tools and rags, as well as glasses, should be attached to a tether and the other end attached to the gear or to your body to prevent falling into the gear. Any object getting into the tightly fitting gears could cause extensive damage. Security is at a premium when opening the main reduction gear. A watch must be posted at the entrance to the clean area and everything entering the area must be logged in and logged out. Pay attention to beams and other items in the overhead that could fall down into the work area as well. The team will now unlock and open the first access. Note that the bolts are loosened but not backed all the way off due to the construction of the closure. This prevents a nut from falling into the gear. The maintenance requirement card calls for an inspection of the oil spray pattern coming from the nozzles. It should be even, it should overlap, and it should cover the entire gear mechanism. This is an example of a good spray pattern. If the spray pattern is unsat, the MRC calls for the nozzle to be cleaned. It is recommended that you report this condition and get guidance before proceeding. 
You must also inspect the gears for wear and pitting. The gears in the video look fine, but here are some examples of pitting that should be reported. In the following clip, an enlisted engineer or top snipe discusses the importance of these checks. Uh, supervising the maintenance in the engine room uh, can tell us to, first off, engineering, we take the ship to the fight and keep us in the fight and get us away from the fight. So our maintenance is important to keep our equipment always readily available at a moment's notice. Uh, gas service systems, we have uh, multi-shaft, two shafts. So if we lose one MRG that cripples the ship, um, dramatically, so going back to getting us to the fight, keeping us in the fight, and getting us away from the fight. And Conus uh, deployed, sometimes it could be demanding and hard to obtain. Okay. And import is a key time to scheduling your maintenance and preparing your, your crew to okay. take care of that maintenance. So what advice would you give to junior sailors who are performing PMS on the main engine may seem cliche, but procedural compliance. Okay. If you run into a problem, you have leadership there to take care of that, to help you out with those problems. Other than that, read a step, do a step, conduct your maintenance smartly. The casing should be inspected for corrosion. The camera would not fit inside, but here are some pictures of a casing with corrosion and one without. All corrosion should be reported to the chief engineer and may require assistance from NAVC or the local regional maintenance center for cleaning. Ensure that you follow the MRC and NSTM cleaning procedures at all times. After the maintenance is complete, tools must be accounted for and the area wiped down and inspected before closing the access. Your local regional maintenance center has a wealth of expertise in the maintenance and repair of main reduction gears. Here are a few thoughts from an experienced assessor. I've seen quite a few. I say at least uh, 10 to 15 uh, MRG since uh, I've been doing this job. Yeah. And what are some of the more common problems that you see when you do those assessments? I think uh, I can name the top three, I would say, the most common denominator of causing these uh, MRG casualties, which uh, I think the number one is uh, well, ship's force uh, lack of training and also Second one I would say would be uh, non-procedural compliance. And I would say the last one is uh, shift force uh, chain of command involvement on what's going on on uh, the deck plate. I think uh, they need to go start doing the basic stuff like uh, when uh, I was growing up as a fireman in Tolentino, go back to the basics, learn how these components work, and then from learning how these components work, you'll be able to learn how the systems work together and the ships will be able to understand the whole concept of that engineering plan. Procedural compliance, uh, talking about there are some uh, steps, ships for sometimes open up these uh, PMS cards and EOS and there are some steps on these procedures, on these books, that are sometimes they're not applicable for what they're doing and they, for some reason they, don't, they do not inform their chain of command they just line it out, assuming that it doesn't apply to them. Sometimes I need some, uh, or we need uh, ship force involvement, first class chief, Chang. Sometimes and even MP and Chang are being involved in these evolutions. Worst condition, since we always deal with the MRG, worst condition is uh, rust. We call it rusticles. Rusticles, rust falling down. See, rust starts with the soft rust, light rust, and if that rust is not abated right away, it's gonna turn to hard rust, flake rust, and now it's gonna go into this, transform to this what we call rusticles. This rust like icicles falling off the roof on this MRG casing, and that's the worst we've seen. In summary, this video showed you the basic operation of the main production gear and the basic maintenance procedures. As always, refer to the applicable documentation for your class of ship for specific maintenance procedures.